A district attorney is reopening the 78-year-old murder case of civil rights worker Elbert Williams. Williams was an NAACP worker killed for trying to register blacks to vote. Local 24's Mary Jo Ola is here now with the new information. Mary Jo. Yeah, Katina, when Albert Williams died, there was no autopsy, no medical examination to determine how he died, despite what appeared to be two bullet holes in his body. Now, the idea that we could get answers to who killed the civil rights worker is enough to make his living descendants and a longtime advocate emotional. This is Taylor Cemetery in Haywood County. It's where civil rights worker Albert Williams is believed to be buried, along with critical evidence to solve his murder. Since 1941, nobody's asked anything. Retired attorney Jim Emerson has spent years researching Williams' story and advocating for someone to investigate it. It's hard for me to talk about it. I cried a little this morning. You can imagine how he felt when he heard the news. But I'm glad it's coming. Emerson brought the story to District Attorney Gary Brown's attention. Brown says the University of Tennessee's Forensic Anthropology Department volunteered its services to locate Williams' grave, exhume his remains, and any evidence. Emerson hopes the investigation will reveal if there is a living perpetrator, bullets to lead to the killer, or... I hope we can find Elbert Williams' remains, identify them with the DNA match that we have and reinter them with dignity and respect and a permanent marker befitting the civil rights hero. He feels deeply that getting answers is the right thing to do. If we can learn the truth about what happened to him, that goes a long way to reconciling some of the wrongs. There's not much more we can do now. While no one has ever been prosecuted for Williams' death, Tennessee does not have a statute of limitations for first-degree murder. That said, District Attorney Brown wrote, it is never too late for justice. Live in the studio, Mary Jaola, Local 24 News.